Hey guys, it's Noah here, and today I'm going to be doing a top 5 PC gaming tips video. So uh, stay tuned for t 5 tips on what you should do if you have a PC and you're into gaming on it. So um, let's start it off. Starting off at number 1, we have Download Steam. Steam is a place to buy PC games. You can buy almost every PC game on the on Steam and they have sales all the time here so if you if you've been living under a rock and you've never heard of Steam basically it's just a platform to buy have all your games in one place it also has built-in messaging features for for friends and you can add friends to your friend list and um, talk to them in game using Steam messaging so it's really cool you can get so many different games here on Steam and uh, they have sales all the time on Steam every every summer and winter they have a huge sale with pretty much everything in the Steam store on sale and um, basically everything in the store is on sale and every week they have usually uh, just random sales on random things like see this week they have a Call of Duty sale so pretty cool but you might be wondering um, EA games you can most EA games you can't get on Steam and that leads me into the next part of this tip uh, you have to download Origin. Origin is where you can get almost every EA game and uh, yeah, EA likes to sell their games through their own platform, which is kind of annoying because I like to have all my games in one place. But if you do like EA games like Sims or FIFA or Battlefront, you'll have to download EA Origin so you can play these games. Now, finally, we have Uplay, which is a third part of this first tip. Um, basically, Uplay, they have their own thing like Origin, but um, you don't have to download it. You can still buy almost every U or Ubisoft game, I believe, on Steam. So you don't need Uplay's version of Steam, you can still get them on Steam, but um, you can download it if you want, I guess, if you want to support Ubisoft, don't really know why you do that. Like I said, I like all my games in one place, so I'd rather not have three different platforms to buy games on. But um, the cool thing about Ubisoft is, is if you sign up with a Ubisoft account, or make a club account, or whatever they call it, you can get rewards in-game, so let's say you bought Assassin's Creed Syndicate, Basically, you get every time you play that game, there is a chance to complete Ubisoft quests within the game. And when you complete those quests, you get reward points from Ubisoft, and you can use those reward points to unlock extra stuff in the game for free. No, you don't have to spend any extra money on this stuff in the game. So that's really cool. And the quest reward points add up to the uh, re reward points required to unlock every one of the bonus content things inside the game that you buy. So really cool way to reward the players just for playing the game you don't have to spend any money other than just buying the game and like I said you don't even need to get you play the uh, application you can still buy the games on Steam and just sign up for the U Ubisoft Club and then you can reap those benefits uh, moving on to tip number two we have kingwin.net basically this is a website where you can buy Windows keys and it does look pretty sketchy for those of you who have never seen something like this before so um, this is where I bought my key, and they aren't always the most reliable. They, you aren't always guaranteed you'll get a working key, but that's why they have uh, buyer protection. You spend an extra euro or $1.11, and they will make sure you get a working key. Basically what happened was my key I bought from here for about yeah $26, which is a pretty good deal considering Windows keys are expensive at around $100. It's not really worth it to me. I'd rather not spend all my money on my Windows key, which is kind of annoying. But you do need... Uh, Windows obviously if you want to run software on your new PC so um, yeah you're gonna need to buy a Windows key and I chose to buy it from here to save money Windows keys are expensive this is a cool way to save money on buying one next up is tip number three and that is to make an account with humble bundle humble bundle is a really awesome website where you can get bundles of games for dirt cheap basically they have bundles every week every two weeks stuff like that where you can get games super super cheap you can pay one dollar they, 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 um, they sell the games in tiers for each bundle so you pay one dollar or more and you get the first tier of games and then you pay above the average of what people have paid and you can unlock the second tier of games and then you pay the premium price they have uh, locked it at when they release the bundle and you can get the third tier of games. If you don't like the games in one of the tiers, you can only, you can just pay for the tiers that you do want. So say you don't care about the games in the third tier, then you can just pay up to the second tier, or you don't even care about any of the games past the first tier, you can just buy the first tier, and it'll basically get you a bunch of cool games that you like usually, and then new games that you can try out you might not have heard of before, 
and it's a really cool way to save money on games and get a lot of games for your computer. So uh, it's really cool that you can just buy a lot of games in one place. And the best part about Humble Bundle is you can choose where your money goes. So you can choose how much money goes to the developer of the games you're buying, how much money goes to Humble Bundle, and how much money goes to charity. Yeah, they actually have a charity function so you can um, designate how much money of your money that you spent on this bundle, how much of it goes to charity, which is a really, really cool feature. So you get games you want, uh, developers get supported, and part of your money goes to charity. So it's kind of a win-win-win situation. And there's really no downsides to this website. If there, if there are games here that you don't care about, you can just skip the bundle. There will be a new one next week or the week after that. Coming up at tip number four, we have G2A. This website is very, very cool. It is the cheapest place you can buy CD keys for games. Um, they have Steam CD keys, Origin CD, CD keys, and Uplay CD keys. So you can buy all the keys from here, and the reason you want to do this rather than buying it from the uh, publishers or the um, applications themselves is because you save so much money when you buy from G2A. But there's two things I'd like to mention real quick. Every game has sales tax on it, so um, the price they show you in your cart isn't always the price you'll be paying in the end, so keep that in mind. You, have to, you do have to pay sales tax on these keys. And um, like Kingwin, you can get buyer protection, which is um, since you're not directly buying from G2A, the website, you're actually buying from uh, marketplace users. Basically, you can buy uh, G2A Shield for one euro or one dollar and eleven cents, and it, the G2A will ensure that you get a working key. And if you don't, they will sort it out and make sure you get a, you do get a working key. And the other cool thing about G2A Shield is you can either pay one dollar and eleven cents per game that you buy, or you can pay one dollar and eleven cents per month. Basically, the G2A Shield monthly means you get G2A Shield on everything you buy for every month you're paying it for it. And you get the first month free when you sign up with a credit card or PayPal account. And that's kind of cool because that means you only have to buy one game a month. And that'll give you G2A Shield for every game you buy that month. Uh, like I said, one game a month, you'll be getting your money's worth out of it. So really, really cool. And it's a really, really good way to save, mo save money because um, otherwise, you're not, otherwise you're paying for $1.11 per game, which would, get, which would add up pretty fast. But um, anyways, yeah, you don't have to buy G2A Shield if you don't want pr extra protection. It just means if you get a key that doesn't work, you'll have to sort it out with the seller. G2A won't help you because you didn't buy G2A Shield. Moving on to tip five, sign up for Microsoft Rewards. Uh, basically, you have to use Bing to use this special feature. And I know m most of you out there don't want to use Bing, don't want to go anywhere near Bing. But let me tell you, I've been using Bing for the past like five months, and I literally can't even like tell a discernible difference between Bing and Google. They both feel so familiar, and Bing is actually contrary to all the hate. It's actually pretty good, and this uh, makes it even better. Basically, you get credits for searching, and then you can use those credits to unlock rewards. And you might ask, what kind of rewards, Noah? Well, I'll tell you. If you um, search up to, uh, you can search up to. A 30 times per day earning 5 credits per search and then after you get enough credits you can unlock certain rewards such as Xbox Live Gold Membership. That's awesome because Xbox Live is really annoying to have to pay for every year, every month or however often you pay for. It's really annoying to have to pay for online services for a console and a game you already bought. So um, yeah basically you can get Xbox Live Gold for free as long as you stay actively searching every day and if you do the math you can actually be able to get X if you already bought your Xbox Live Gold this year then you might be able to keep searching and get it free next year because you, you earn credits and then get it for free and Xbox Live isn't the only reward you can get you can also get all kinds of other rewards from the store such as Amazon gift cards Starbucks gift cards Skype gift cards Xbox or Microsoft uh, store gift cards GameStop gift cards and they're probably going to be adding more stuff in the future that you can redeem Xbox or Microsoft points for so a really really cool way to just earn free stuff just for browsing the internet like you usually would and um, really good way to save money on Xbox Live because who wants to pay for that really you know anyways that's about it for this video guys I hope you enjoyed it if you liked it please leave a like and if you want to see more like it subscribe to my channel and if you had any questions about this video, any one of my other videos, or my channel, just leave it down in the comment section, and I will try to reply to it as soon as I can. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.